Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Taurus. So, for July 2020 and on the occasion of the Capricorn full moon, which is uh, taking place on July 5, uh, we are doing the horoscope tarot. And you guys may have seen some of these, but uh, in this spread I pull uh, 12 cards and each card represents a house, astrology house, or um, a certain area of life. Uh, most of you, I'm sure, are familiar with them, but I do uh, describe and discuss them as we uh, look at the cards. And keeping in mind, guys, that this is a general reading where um, I do uh, keep the cards upright, I feel like I can give you still a 360 degree, if you will, uh, number of suggestions. So um, let's see how best we can do this and how meaningful we can connect the dots. And as I um, turn the cards, Taurus, I'm hoping you are all uh, doing great, getting ready to enjoy uh, hopefully a lovely summer. I know it comes with a little bit of restriction still, but hopefully everybody is at their best and doing great. Alrighty, so um, we're going to go, guys. We set 12 houses, 12 areas of life. So we're going to go from one through seven first row um, and then uh, sorry one through six and then seven through uh, twelve okay so our first house first house has to do with um, your personality your persona uh, the way that you present and the way that others perceive you so a personality house and you have uh, the empress so uh, the Empress, guys, in a personality house is very, very Taurus. It's very um, Venus. Venus is in the picture. Um, this is so aligned with the type of general characteristics, if you will, of Taurus. So grounded and again, um, ruled by Venus, beautified by Venus. And uh, Venus likes being in, in the Taurus uh, house, in the Taurus horoscope, if you will. So. Uh, very very kind very nourishing and at the same time um, powerful empowered grounded uh, lots of things that one can say uh, provides for likely a good aura a good presentation a good communication so energy in terms of personality um, on the occasion of this full moon and that's why I like doing these uh, on certain new moon and full moon occasions is because it's a good idea to see what's being highlighted. What is the moon sort of asking us to pay attention to when it's a full moon? It's also, I believe it's also a lunar eclipse. So um, very pow powerful, very empowering and positive um, presence of your um, ruling planet uh, with your first house, with your personality, uh, tells me we are being true to ourselves and we are in a good position. So second house, guys, where we think of values, where we think of resources. And sometimes um, our own sense of self-worth as well. And we have the eight of wands. And it's a, uh, you know what, momentum type energy. Um, it's forward momentum. So um, I like the number in terms of resources. We can do things with the figure eight and consider the um, infinity symbol. Uh, but at the same time, it appears like um, you are actively um, seeking the truth behind your own values. You are actively verifying things. You are actively either working on uh, some resources, some wealth accumulation. There is a plan in motion. Okay, so underline the word in motion. I like it a lot for a house that has to do with resources. You guys being an earthy sign, um, a practical sign, a sign that cares a lot about their resources, the material things, and obviously in a good way, in a good sense, uh, this is a good placement of the Eight of Wands. It's also saying you are super, super passionate about your own values, and that's a great thing. So one thing we say here is we um, don't want to be communicating at times those values 
with uh, speed remember um, a lot of times what you hold so so dear may not always agree or jive with others so um, and not to hold back or to put a mask at all but just remember that at times uh, there's always a time and a place if you will and there's always uh, certain companies and certain parties and certain not so who you share uh, your values with may also be an ask for you to be just reserved a little bit okay what's so important to you maybe we hold on a little bit we don't shield uh, but maybe we actually shield I don't see nothing wrong with a bit of a, a personal shield uh, to protect personal values now not out of fear guys not out of fear all right now to your third house where we talk about um, learning we talk about mindset thinking also um, potentially short distance travel or uh, siblings as well and our mindset so we have a king of wands and king of wands is um, in my idea um, one of the um, most practical kings so as much as the king of pentacles is about wealth accumulation but the king of wands is a very very good problem solver if you will uh, so creative passionate about what they do that is a good energy to have let's relate it now to the area of life which is thinking learning um, communication so i like it a lot um, the king is not necessarily in the fire element guys um, passionate but not aggressive so i like that kind of balance i like that kind of being grounded yet having the drive and there may be also because we are thinking about learning so there may be a, a meeting a connection with a personality in an area where uh, you get some learning where you may be uh, meeting a mentor I do not see an ace here to say potential knew this or that but I'm suggesting the king energy could also be someone who has that kind of wisdom okay practicality yet achievable um, and you may be able to learn something from a personality like that now to your fourth house where we talk about uh, home and family life uh, tasks chores related to the house and we've got the wheel of fortune when you look at the wheel you find several several activities taking place there's news coming there are things up in the air uh, there are things being written um, basically <clears throat> in a way it's the universe okay it's the universe reminding us the universe reminding us that um, not everything is under our own uh, control no matter how much we plan okay no matter how much you plan there's always surprises there are always the unexpected events so in a home and family life uh, it could mean different things guys but if I were to make it in a practical sense I would say it's a good advice to plan ahead it's a good advice to plan ahead um, when you are in control it's a good advice to you know what to save up it's a good advice also to settle on which types of projects we want to do if there are um, home improvement type projects it looks like it's still you know what thoughts are still up there so um, a representation of that perhaps but also representation of um, potential change so the wheel is turning it hasn't settled um, could be this way or that way so better way of looking at it is uh, to prepare for chances unknown chances unknown circumstances is you know what staying ahead always be ahead um, being vigilant as well around um, home and family life not in a paranoid way being vigilant just being you know what aware more aware you are a trusting sign and that is lovely however um, it's a strange day and time um, days are still good but we're living in interesting times guys so uh, perhaps we need to pay more attention 
um, and focus more on what's the word uh, planning for uh, home life family life and planning more with the understanding that there can be outside events okay uh, hopefully they're all beautiful and amazing but at times we have to plan for things that we may not like to anyway to your fifth house and we have a five of cups so five in the five at any rate the five of cups really um, I was just speaking about being vigilant vigilant so so the five is in a way asking that too with children so your fifth house guys deals with children your own offspring and also of course pleasures of life uh, creativity um, things of that nature but really mainly uh, pleasures of life the way you enjoy things in life and we see you there focus on something um, at the past and missing out on two cups that are still holding uh, that can still end up in a cheers if you will format so the message in a way simplified but looking around finding ways where we can enjoy our life uh, that is also helpful for our children so the happier you are the better that you are uh, the more you are able to give and to provide the same so do not okay it's looking yes looking down um, what do we say chin up and look around as simple as I can put it there is more to enjoy that you just need to turn simple turn and you find it now to your sixth house where we talk about day-to-day -day tasks um, work likely and we have the high priestess it also could relate to your health this house this area of life so the high priestess um, work the high priestess is known for um, the type of knowledge the type of secret knowledge that you don't necessarily obtain only by reading books or by watching a video the type of experience and in many ways of course spiritual but because I'm thinking of work life if you are in a spiritual type job uh, okay all the better align but most of us are not um, however the knowledge the wisdom that comes from this uh, high priestess who's kind of gate holding okay or gatekeeping for the temple that's behind her um, is amazing I like it it's again inviting a thought of maybe there is a learning opportunity maybe that learning opportunity I mentioned in your third house guys uh, could be a mentor type and here it could be also a spiritual type you know what maybe someone provides um, some kind of spiritual guidance that helps you at your workplace maybe that is um, something that is being asked of you however um, quite stable um, I do see an emotion you know what in the process there so we have two pillars also in the scenery and overall guys balanced so I like it um, and I like the ask of perhaps some focus on spirituality and how that may reflect on your ability to do your day-to-day -day tasks now to your seventh house where we have um, marriages relationships um, we are talking about the king of pentacles so there he comes different kind of king okay king of pentacles um, I also like because we're talking about partnerships so should there be uh, the business partnership potential you are likely likely I would get a signal on uh, a potential good partner a grounded partner a partner knowing how to handle money how to grow money how to deal with profit etc accumulate wealth but in terms of romantic relationships marriages it's also a very kind energy uh, the one the one ask would be uh, just a reminder so earthy element here um, king of pentacles and it's interesting they fall of course right under the empress but uh, could also be strong-headed could also be fixated so 
uh, this is an earthy element energy coming into a partnership you know what a romantic or a marriage partnership energy uh, place pardon me and so the ask would be consider flexibility uh, be prepared for uh, the need for flexibility in order for things in that area of life to remain or to be smooth to continue to be but quite promising guys and further on <clears throat> as we move on we're now looking at your eighth house where we talk about transformation we're also talking about other people's resources and how you may benefit from that and it is a lovely six of pentacles right next to the king and then there's another pentacle with it so beside it so um, this is a very very empowered if you will six of pentacles um, let's see together so as you can see guys a few features I love um, the balance the scale uh, the achievement the ability to give the ability and the stance to give and to give measuredly a sense of generosity so let's relate it now to the house it is other people's resources and how you may gain and benefit so it is about income it is about potential um, you know what monetary gains because you are in a position where uh, you're providing and you're providing out of uh, such you know what stance of control of also um, holding your own and strength so in terms of transformation I like it a lot it speaks of a very very positive positioning for you guys and right next to it so we have a king of pentacles here in seven we had six and eight and then we have um, an ace of pentacles in your ninth house so where we oh my god I love it where we talk about philosophy spirituality look at this here's an ace the ace of pentacles is now showing up and again empowers the other uh, pentacle cards beside it and at the same time it comes in the house of philosophy the house of finding the deeper meaning in life i like to put a little example uh, to simplify it is it the car uh, we used to get to the party or is it the fact that we had fun at the party which is more important now um, is it you know what this or that what really matters in a um, philosophical way in terms of spiritual uh, thinking as well so you have an ace you have a potential for so much growth in that space and guys we are um, mind body and soul so your soul your spirit needs that kind of nourishment as well so I love the potential for that um, there's a likelihood that you end up meeting someone with wisdom with knowledge uh, that that's going to help you along the way and <clears throat> excuse me a sip of coffee and we can get some voice back okay so continuing with very um, positive shall we say notes on the um, we picked it up really from the king and prior to that really from the high priestess too but really going to your 10th house now to the house of reputation to the house of achievement and you get the sun and that's a beauty so I get excited with that because um, man we're talking about reputation and here's the sun here's the spotlight here's the attention uh, that likely is due or overdue so you do get that uh, moment a moment of shall we say vindication a moment of appreciation in a lot of times for you guys long overdue and I love it because the Sun is such a warm <clears throat> um, life source energy so it talks about not just you <clears throat> getting the spotlight one more sip <clears throat> excuse me guys it's not just you getting the spotlight um, it's what you do with it so um, when you look more at the card again quite a uh, angelic quite a um, giving a kind uh, person that you know what baby that's on the horse 
that energy that is a very very trusting nourishing giving energy so when you get what's long overdue for you you're able to use that energy that achievement that reputation in a good way to help others and that is the beauty of why i like it in the um, tenth house here okay to your eleventh um, where we talk about friends we're talking about associations we're talking about groups you may belong to <clears throat> communities and we have the emperor and the emperor is interesting um the emperor <clears throat> speaks a little bit uh, of rigidity so let's say there may be certain relationships where you are encountering very inflexible personalities and the choice is really yours okay so it could be that or it could be that you yourself are uh, being rigid about a situation either with a group of friends or with a particular friend at the end of the day Taurus um, you know better than me suggesting which are the relationships that are beneficial but you are being asked to consider that if you don't know if it's not obvious you are being asked if there is a bit of rigidity is it about values is it is there a good reason for it or um, do we need to be flexible um, you appear to be grounded which I like a lot so the Emperor speaks from a position of, of power of confidence of knowing um, their position and a lot of times really hanging on to it maybe for too long but there is a reason for that and now you're being asked to consider why you feel a sense or a need for some holding on to a position uh, you could be on the right track so trust your intuition that's what I would say there otherwise not alarming guys and in fact empowering so on the positive side now to your 12th house where we talk about pretty much our uh, subconscious um, deeper deeper thoughts uh, basically also in a way it deals with our mm, message or what we want to leave behind as a legacy uh, service to a humanity uh, but for the most part subconscious related and uh, when you can access that you see uh, there's an eight of cups there and again it's in a way a bit of a forward momentum after some issues have been dealt with so I take that as a positive sign I take that that there may have been some emotional issues guys issues that could have caused us some pain irritation hurt whatnot but if in your subconscious you have moved forward okay that is a darn good thing guys it's like um, I go off on not a side snippet but I give you an example the subconscious guys is a place where we access dream world so when something that has hurt we no longer dream of um, in the way that it hurt us we dream of as something we're leaving behind okay you get that you follow with me when that is the subconscious energy that is so clear that is so so powerful have moved forward and your reality okay that's the connection now your reality is actually translating also in your subconscious area you have moved forward that eight of cups does not scare me in fact I like the house where it landed and I feel very very good for you so Taurus um, very empowering guys we began with your um, planetary ruler we began with Venus with the Empress and then we ended up also on association look at the interesting part you got the Empress in your own personality card and you got an Emperor where we talked about friends or others okay so this was so you and uh, I'm so encouraged by the whole pentacle business that we got here you know the king and the six and the ace I'm encouraged by the idea of spiritual development and spiritual growth 
by the thought of the king of wands when it comes to learning when it comes to thinking and mindset potentially an opportunity uh, for learning and maybe a mentorship I'm also so encouraged that when you have left uh, the five of you've left the five of uh, cups energy here uh, to a point where in your subconscious house you're moving forward so what else can I say Taurus other than I hope you guys liked uh, this reading I wish you the best energy of this Capricorn full moon um, wish you the best of July and we'll meet again on the love readings of course but for now I hope you guys like this one and uh, of course would love it if you would subscribe give me a like and a comment Taurus you are so amazing and we do love you madly bye for now guys